So a bit of an interesting question. Limo asks on one of my prior YouTube clips, can you share your opinion on the learning technique you recommend for retaining information from your high yield PDFs or first aid? It takes me a lot of time to visualize the information and remember it. Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group. Link is also down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which Limo asks, can you share your opinion on the learning technique you recommend for retaining information from your high yield PDFs or first aid? It takes me a lot of time to visualize the information and remember it. Look, first off, everyone is going to have a different way of retaining information the best for him or herself. Some people are highly visual. Some people prefer that resources are strictly textual. I've had people DM me about my PDFs complimenting me that they like that they strictly cut to the chase and are just the text they need to know. I've had other people DM me saying that they wish I included more funny, uh, colorful pictures, okay? So everyone's gonna have a different opinion. I think for you, it comes down to self-awareness. Uh, do you read the best? Do you like listening to audio, watching videos, okay? So there's gonna be a variety of resources that work best for different people. I think uh, two points I can mention. The first is one thing you don't want to do is get in the habit of converting everything you study into Anki cards. That's highly specific of a point I'm making, but I address it because that's something I see highly prevalent among students is they convert everything into Anki cards and it's a big waste of fucking time, okay? Anki has a time and place if you're very far away from your prep, but I, it's to my observation, it can preclude effective study in many students because it's a large drain of your time, okay? You need to, and my second point is that you need to recognize that remembering, forgetting, remembering, forgetting is the normal process no matter how high you're scoring on assessments, okay? You're constantly gonna be forgetting new information. So through this short clip, take alleviation through the point that it's okay to forget things, okay? That's just the standard process. Uh, and you need to recognize that no matter how high you score, yeah, you're always gonna be forgetting things, okay? So just continue forward with your prep, don't lose faith, and you know the deal, I'm gonna continue making more content. So if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time, that's it.